Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I will dive into enhancing your power app vertical gallery design skills from basic layouts something like this to stunning user friendly interface. I will guide you through the process step by step we will explore practical tips and creative tricks to take your vertical gallery to the next level. Whether you are a beginner or looking to refine your skills you are in the right place. Let's get started on creating powerful dynamic galleries in Power Apps. In the last video, I've created an app with the header and the compact left hand menu. If I click on play and then if I click on this hamburger icon, I can see the menu. And if I close it, I can then see the menu disappear. If you haven't seen this video, I'm putting this link on the right hand corner click on it and watch this video how I've created this modern header and the compact menu and it works with themes for example if I change the theme to a different color it will adopt the color if I click on play and click on hamburger again and click on issues this is where we will see our issues list gallery this is the vertical gallery I've used I've just added some labels here with title status priority assigned to and report date this looks a bit clunky we want to make this look a lot better. So to do that, first, let's look at the title column and see what we can do with this. From the left hand menu, I will click on the tree view so we can see all the components here. I will select the gallery and then I will select the first row in the gallery and then I will click insert and type rectangle. So we'll add a rectangle. We'll add rectangle just before the title and we'll make the width of the rectangle to 5 let's say and the height to 50 and then with the left arrow on the keyboard we can move this rectangle a little bit to the left and a little bit down so it fit well next to the title i will just move the title column a little on the left so it is aligned with that rectangle now the title column is looking a lot better i'll just move this rectangle a little down as well now we can see that every title have this rectangle box which is making it a little bit better in terms of ui now let's look at the status each of these status needs to have a different value i will select again the first row and click on insert and i will search for button the clock button i will add that button here and then i will move button just over the status value i will change the button text to none and then if i select this button what I can do is I can add everything else in a group. I can select all of these labels and I can right click and create a group. And now if I select three dots next to the group, I can say reorder bring to front. This will bring that status value to the front. Now I will select the button from the left hand menu and then I will change this drop down to fill. At the moment, the button color is the theme primary color. I will replace that with this code and if I format this text you can see the code in a better way I've added a switch statement and I have added for each different type of status a different color scheme with the opacity to 0.2 so this is the color for the button based on the different status value now you can see the button is having different color now if I select the label I will move it a little on the right hand side now now let's select the row and add a tiny circle before the status value. If I go on insert and then if I search for circle from the right hand side I will change the size to 10 width and 10 height and, and then with the keyboard I will position this circle just next to the status value. Okay now you can see every circle color is the primary color of the theme to change that as well so while i've selected the circle i will go to this drop down and click on fill and then i will replace this primary color value to this switch statement if i format the text it is the same statement which we added for the button fill color the only difference is the opacity is one for each one of the color scheme this means that it will show the darker color in the circle and the lighter color button now let's view it we can see the circle color is darker than the color of the button now if I select this button again and then I can change 
the border value to zero. We don't want any border with this button. So we can see this button this way. Now, if I select the label from the left hand menu, which is the status label behind this button, we can change the color of the label as well. So we can change the background color of this label. So for that, I will click on the drop down and I will select fill and I will add the same color for each status as we did for each of the dot. And for the fill property, I will paste the same color scheme we did for the circle. And if I quickly click on format text, you can see it's the different color for each type of status with the opacity set to one. Now we can see a nice looking status column values appearing here. This is looking a lot better now. In terms of priority, we can do is we can add an icon for each of the different priority. So I will again select the row in the gallery and click drop down insert and I will select icon. I will change the size of the icon to 20 and 20, 20 width and 20 height. And I will place this icon just before this priority value. I'll move the priority label a little further and I'll move this icon value here and maybe I can change the header and a little bit backward and for the icon if I select the icon we can see by default it is having an add icon I can change this to a switch statement based on the different priority we will see the different icon so I'm adding a switch statement and saying if the priority value is low then arrow down icon appears if the priority is normal then no different icon and then if high arrow and then if it's critical then dismiss circle should appear so we can see the different type of icons appearing now based on the priority so let's change the color of this icon to always the color of the app color so for that i need to select icon color property of this icon and then i will say app theme dot color dot primary that will set the primary color of the theme for this icons x assigned to let's add a picture just before assign person name i will select the row insert and then i will select image the width we can change it to 40 and height we can also change it to 4 example and then we will move this just before assign to person name we will just rearrange it now for the picture it is saying that this item dot image instead of that we will say this item dot assigned to dot picture so you can start seeing the picture now let's make it a little bit wrong so whatever value we have for the size width and height we can change the radius value to same we can say 40 now we can see the picture is appearing as wrong okay next let's format the reported date column i'll select the row again and insert an icon this time i will select the icon for calendar we can search for calendar icon and we can select that i will change the size to 20 width and 20 to what we had for the priority icon sizes and then i will move this little bit down and then for the report date header i will move it a little bit back to align with this now let's change the icon color so it matches the theme primary color icon color property I will set it to app.theme.color.primary. Let's do that same for the label for the assigned to person. I will select the color property and I will change it to app.theme.color.primary. It will set the primary color for the assigned to. I need to do one final thing, which is changing the date format of this date column. So it can be more readable. I will select that label and I will go to text property of the label. Instead of saying this item dot date reported I will change it with text and this item dot date reported and then this format day day month and year so we can see nice looking date format which is easy to read now let's click on it and play this you can see it is looking much better to what we had before we can easily see the title we can easily identify the status without even looking at the value we know that if it's red, it means it is blocked. And, and we can see the priority very easily. And also we can see the assigned to person because we can see their picture as well. And data is in human readable format as well. 
Now let's see how this will look when we change the theme of this app. If I go to this theme on the left hand menu and if I switch to for example this purple theme we can see everything is changed and it's aligned well with that theme and if I select for example orange you can see it's nicely showing in orange theme as well and the green if I select green theme you can see everything is looking green now all these components I'm using here is adopted to the primary theme color schemes for the statuses we wanted to have a color scheme we had to define a bespoke color scheme for the status column values let me go back to our contoso main color theme thanks for joining me on this journey to improve your power app vertical gallery design i hope these tips and tricks inspired you to create more dynamic friendly interfaces in power apps remember practice make perfect keep experimenting and refining your skills if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest tutorials. I would love to hear your feedback. Feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, happy app building.